guys. Good evening to all. This evening, I'm going to do a video of Holy Innocence Church and School area. This is situated at Ashford in St. Thomas. Once again, this is the Holy Innocence Primary School. And I'm looking down towards Ashford, Long Road. This is the Ashford and St. Thomas. So this is Holy Innocence Primary School. And this is the school where my family from my mother's side received their primary education. My aunts, uncles, well not my uncles, my first two aunts, my great aunt and my great uncles and so on received their primary education here. Here at Hawaii well, Innocence Primary School. Many years ago this was the girls' school. The girls' school was here, Holy Innocence Girls. That was many years ago. And Holy Innocence was also a refuge back in the time of Hurricane Janet. Hurricane Janet struck Barbados in September 1955. Barbados and the Caribbean. And Holy Innocence was one of the shelters. Janet is a hurricane that struck Barbados and the whole Caribbean. <coughs> no, but several parts of the Caribbean. It struck and It was said that it had passed Barbados. It was said that it had passed Barbados, but it turned back. I hit Barbados and damaged Barbados severely. So this is all Ashford Long Road here. Ashford is spelled you know, like S H F O R D. And this is the basketball court. Over here, and this is the church cemetery over here. So, this is the school building here with the mural graphic on it that was done by Miss June Connell in 2005. The pitch things in St. Thomas. The windmill is supposed to be for um, Sturgis Plantation in St. Thomas. The monkey is supposed to be for Welsh Mahal Gully in St. Thomas. And the man on the bottom here reading the book is supposed to be Mr. Lester Vaughan, the guy who wrote the National Pledge, and he was also the principal here at the school back in the 1950s and 60s. And at the bottom, next to him is the students. Yes, guys, St. Thomas is best referred to as the heart of Barbados. Or the central uplands of Barbados. This is the basketball court here opposite the church, opposite the school and the church. And this is our Ashford, St. Thomas. This is what leading to Harrison this is here, and uh, West Mahal Gully. This is all in St. Thomas as well. And Harrison's cave runs all under here. And it is said that when service is going on at the church, that the organ from the church vibrates into the cave. So we quite take a walk in church. I'm going to show you guys a little piece of Ashford Long Road first. Before proceeding in the church. Yard. I'm looking back down to Ashford. So uh, you can see that the church is well kept. The members here take good care of the church. And it, especially my great aunt. I still have, mm, what is this here? A lot of my ancestors are interred in this churchyard. A lot of my ancestors are buried here at Holy Innocence. 
This is my great grandparents from my mother's side, my mother's grandmother and her grandfather. And I have aunts, great aunts, and great uncles and cousins all buried here at Holy Innocence. And I also have one aunt that has been buried here. This is my mother's second sister. Who is also buried here at Holy Innocence. So, uh, my family's, my roots originated in the parish of St. Thomas. So further up above Holy Innocence now will be Wetchmore Hall, St. Thomas. So this is the church cemetery now. Since the cemetery on the, in the churchyard is filled, they have to bury the people right in this cemetery here in this church now. So this is the exit for the church. and serene parish of St. Thomas. St. Thomas along with St. George are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados. Best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. Shortly, I will take you guys inside the churchyard and show you what inside the church is like. Yes guys, this is the church now, Holy Innocence Anglican Episcopal Church and this is the school building back down below here. So Holy Innocence Church dates back to 1838 and it was rebuilt in 18 and it was dedicated in 1839, consecrated in 1839 and this is the Smith tomb here, the Smith graves. As I said before, they don't really bury people in this cemetery, in this churchyard anymore. Since the churchyard is filled now. So they bury people on the opposite side of the road now. This is the Holy Innocence Church, multi-purpose center. And this is the bell free now, where the bell is. And you can see the rope for the bell. My, I had a great uncle that was the bell ringer here years ago. Carmen Levine. He, he would be my great uncle. He used to ring the bell here at Holy Innocence. And I also had a great, another great, great uncle that was the uh, um, lay preacher here, Uncle Percy Ellis. He's also buried here at Holy Innocence. Gorman, Levine, and Percy Ellis are buried here at Holy Innocence. Yes, guys. You can see the church bell here. So this is a beautiful little country church here in the heart of Barbados. We're in the parish of St. Thomas. The bell used to be up here first, but they took it down sometime in 1990 or so. And placed it here. And they refurbished the front of the church. So this is the vicarage where the priests lived or used to live. Saints Reverend Light. I haven't seen or heard about any priests living here at Holy Innocence.
Let's go this, this pipe there. Uh, Holy Innocence Anglican Church. Uh, this is the in sacred memory of the following families William Green, John and Elizabeth Weeks, William and Walter Daniel, Leonora and Aaron Daniel, the Glasgow family. May they rest in peace. Yes, this church is known for the Daniel families. Mr. Daniel was the son here years ago. So this church is known for the Daniels, Levines, which is my family, the Daniels, the Dreads, and so on. And the Caves. That's good. This is the KF tomb here. The KF tomb. The KF is a well known family in Welsh Mahal in this area. This is all for the Innocence Church here. So back on the road again. Looking back to Ashford Long Road, the Holy Innocence Church, Anglican Episcopal. So above here will be Welsh Mahal, but the St. Thomas Post Office. And there was also a lady by the name of Ursa that had a shop out here for many decades. She used to serve back in my grandmother's time, my aunt's time, and my cousin's time. Bury the people here over here now. Since the one in the cemetery, the church in the yard is filled. So, thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.